Hi everyone! So in this video, I will show you how to report a software error in the Element Tool Issue Tracking System. So first, let's take the issue that I want to report. Here's my application under Test, Loan Management System. And when I click the Settings button, it's supposed to open the Settings page, but instead it appears that this page is not available. So how do we report this issue? Well, first, we click New Issue tab on the top of the page in our Element Tool tracking system. Here, I'm already logged in. First, we have to fill in our short description. So let's do that now. considered an art to write a good short description. Short description should describe the issue, not the steps to reproduce it. It should briefly and clearly state the problem without going into low-level details. A one-line summary is considered good practice. Short description should clearly identify what happened and where it happened. In our case, it's cannot open settings page from home page page is not available. Next, we move on to full description. Full description should provide a more detailed and thorough explanation of the issue. It can include expected and actual results. So let's fill that in. Now let's move on to steps to reproduce. Here we need to provide precise numbered steps that lead us towards the problem. Now that we're done steps to reproduce, we move on to choosing the product. In our case, it's Web Loan App, so that's what we select. For status, we choose Open Bug because it's a new bug report. Next, we come to Priority. Priority is a value to help determine how soon the bug should be fixed. The lead developer or a bug triage meeting should usually assign priority, but a tester might suggest it. Priority levels are immediate, high, medium, and low. Immediate, it's when further development or testing cannot occur until the defect has been repaired. The system cannot be used until the repair has been effected. High, 
is when the defect should be resolved soon because it is impairing development and system use will be severely affected until the defect is fixed. Medium is when the defect should be resolved in the normal course of development activities, but it can wait until a new build or version is created. And low is just when the defect is an irritant, which should be repaired, but which can wait after more serious defects have been fixed. As testers, we don't need to enter priority. The developer will take care of that. Next, we come to severity. A tester should determine the severity based on the impact that the defect would have. There are a number of different severity level levels, critical, high, medium, and low. Critical is when the defect results in the failure of the complete software system, of a subsystem, or of a software unit within the system. High is similar to critical, but there are acceptable processing alternatives that will yield the desired results. Medium is when the defect does not result in failure, but causes the system to produce incorrect, incomplete, or inconsistent results. Low is when the defect doesn't cause a failure, doesn't impair usability, and the desired processing results are easily obtained by working around the defect. I'm going to choose high severity because a part of our application cannot be accessed at all. Next, we move on to build. The build number can be found under the help about dialog box. For us, it's build 2.1.01. So we select it here. Next, we move on to error category. For us, this is a functionality error. So we select functionality. For client OS, we choose what operating system we're working with. We're currently using Windows 7. Next, we come to Browser. We need to know which browser we're using. So we click this button here and go to About Internet Explorer. We're using Internet Explorer 11. So that's what we select here. Next, we come to Frequency. Frequency is how easy it is to reproduce the problem. It ranges from always to randomly. In our case, it's always. In the Assign To field, make sure you select the developer. Don't worry about the fixed in build or the fixed by. The developer will take care of that. It's good practice to attach a snapshot if the error can be visually confirmed. So let's do that. We're using snipping tool to capture our snapshot. Now we're going to drag the cursor around the area we want to capture, like this. And then we File, Save As. Make sure you attach your image. Just click Browse and find it on your computer. 
Finally, when you're all done, click Submit. And there you have it.